The United States may have a new diplomatic battle with Russia on the horizon, but this one is a fight over science cooperation in outer space. Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joining us live from the Old City with Russia's plan to build its own space lab. Russia is launching its standoff with the West to new heights, announcing plans to pull out of the International Space Station by 2024 and build its own. While the decision isn't a total surprise, the discussion grows as tensions flare over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It's one of the greatest scientific achievements man has ever known. This SpaceX rocket blasts off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center last week, carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station. One of the passengers on the mission, a Russian astronaut, Anna Kikina. Her presence on the spacecraft shows that cooperation between the U.S. and Russia is continuing, despite tension over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. After the launch, a Russian space official said U.S.-Russia relations in space could end as early as 2024. We don't know yet how it's going to be built and uh, what kind of uh, modules we will have. Russia says it wants its own station in orbit by 2028. Until then, Russia's director of human spaceflight, a former cosmonaut who was the first to launch on a U.S. rocket, says it makes sense to keep working with NASA. There is no final decision yet, but uh, we are going to keep flying International Space Station as long as uh, our new uh, infrastructure will build. Since its launch in 1998, the ISS has been a symbol of science diplomacy, the practice of nations putting politics aside to use science for the common good. As it stands, the ISS can't function without cooperation. Russia provides the propulsion that keeps the station in orbit, and America provides the electricity. As Russia announces plans to leave, it also leaves room for questions on how diplomatic ties with the U.S. will be impacted. As far as future work, I think everybody's well aware we signed an agreement with Roscosmos for one flight this year, one flight next year, and one flight in 24. Russia says its decision to distance itself isn't the result of bad blood between nations, but out of interest to build something more sustainable. However, Russia's decision could further isolate the nation as a pariah. U.S.-Russia involvement at the ISS goes back to the early 90s after the Soviet Union crumbled. Before that, the two nations spent 20 years in a race to beat one another into orbit. Now the race is on to see how long one of the few remaining areas of cooperation between the U.S. and Russia will endure.